Well, I found my new house wine and it was at my local grocery store. It was there the whole time. What is it? Stay tuned. Welcome to this week's episode. As I said, there was this great wine at my local grocery store, sitting there the whole time. Um, and it's the Monte Antico, which means, you know, the high mountain um, in Italian. And it was just sort of there with, you know, maybe the other Italian sections. But if I'm buying, you know, my Italian wine at the grocery store, I almost always gravitate to the Chianti Classico, the Gabbiano, and I'll just grab that and, and I go. Well, it's sitting, it was just sitting right there. And I have to tell you guys, please try this wine. It just blew me away. And I wouldn't have um, looked at it, but I was so lucky that they had one of the distributors and he was stocking the shelves and he noticed I was looking at the counties and we were talking a little bit about how much I love the Sangiovese grape and uh, uh, Italian wines in general. He said, have you tried this one? And I said, no. And he goes, well, you know, for a Super Tuscan for $15, you can't beat it. And it, I paid even less than 15. So I, I grabbed it. And I got home and it blew me away. It is so delicious. And I'm going to tell you why um, in just a minute. But as far as the taste goes, that beautiful, uh, typical Sangiovese, bright cherry, little dustiness, a little bit of leather notes, um, fabulous tasting, not too heavy, not too tannic, nice acidity. Uh, I had it with pizza and I made some uh, grilled kebabs last night that are a mixture of uh, the kind of Turkish kebabs. So I'll usually make them with beef and with ground lamb. And wow, this was just fantastic. So flexible, and that's what you want for a house wine, right? You want to be able to grab it and uh, go with foods that you know you're like. Uh, you could definitely drink this one on its own. So again, a super Tuscan from uh, Italy, right? And so this one is mostly uh, Sangiovese, about 85% Sangiovese, and then it has some Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, rounds out with Merlot. So something to think about is, you'll notice on the label it says, you know, it's typical, right? Typical Tuscan wine. And that's the way of telling you what a great deal this probably is because it's not a Chianti, right? So it's not following all those um, uh, prescribes or, or the, uh, the rules of being a Chianti. So it's going to use other grapes. So that's why the Cabernet and the Merlot come in. So what, what an incredible find. So as you guys know from some of our other episodes, you know, some Super Tuscans are in the hundreds of dollars, right? Sasakaya for one, um, Ornelia is another one. Uh, you know, fabulous wines, but you know, not for um, you know, Saturday night um, grilled kebabs. And this one is just great. No, you can do a Tuesday night pizza night and, and get this one again well under 15, between 10 and 15, not a problem. So we had a nice discussion and, you know, sometimes if you get a chance and you're at a place like the grocery store, as I said, usually the, you, it's hard to get help. So um, if you happen to be at a grocery store and you see someone stocking the shelves, you know, and they work for, you know, one of the distributors, um, sure, they're probably gonna um, guide you toward uh, maybe some of the wines in their portfolio, but usually they're pretty crazy about wine like you are and, and, and would be happy to show you uh, some wines in their portfolio or even point you to somewhere else. So that's what he did. And he turned me on to another wine that I'm gonna show with you in another episode from New Zealand that I had never had before. So uh, stay tuned for that one. So something to think about, um, I finally did some research on this wine. By the way, this wine received some nice scores from James Suckling. I believe he gave it at 91 points. Uh, and he's a fairly well-known uh, wine critic out there. And he just, you know, was a guy over this one too, just like I am. Is like, wow, this is just, just, unbelievably good, especially for the price and excellent quality. Well, I noticed that the importers are Emson Imports from Neil and Maria um, Emson. And uh, they're actually based not too far away in Alexandria, Virginia. And I remember them way back when I was living in California and I really enjoyed some of the wines that they, uh, they, they would import. So they import all Italian wines from Italy, of course. And you know what's nice about if you look, a couple things I want you to keep in mind. One is if you look at a wine that you just love and you're really enjoying it, one thing that could help is look at who the importer is. And so if you tend to like some of their wines that imported by that company and you're walking into a store and you're totally blind and you're not sure what to get, 
maybe ask for some help and say I'm looking for someone who imports uh, this is the name of the importer I like or you can look on the back of the bottle and see it and you know sometimes that's helped me out when I'm like ah, I don't know if this is gonna be maybe a good one or not and I'll look at the person who imports it or the company who imports it and go well I like their other wines uh, I'll give it a try so it didn't surprise me that it was Empson Importers. I've enjoyed many of the Italian wines that they that they bring in. So much so that back in, I think it was, oh, 2005-ish or maybe 2006, I was able to contact uh, them because I was going to Puglia, Italy, which is way over in southern Italy, the heel of, of uh, the peninsula. And I said I was going there uh, to volunteer to teach English and I would love to go see um, uh, this winemaker who made some uh, wines from Puglia that I just adored. And they said, yes, Trent, we'll, we'll, we'll set you up and, and we'll introduce you to the winemaker. And while you're over there, you could go uh, see him and have a tour of the winery. Wow, I did it and it was fantastic. What a great opportunity. So there you go, when you, uh, when you spend some time uh, on wines that you do like, Maybe look at who the importer is, and they are great resources. I mean, trust me, they, if, if you like their wines, they want to help you enjoy their wines. So I found them to be uh, very helpful. Uh, Empson Imports, fabulous wines. Um, this one is one I just can't wait for you to try. So hopefully it's at your local grocery store. Um, I haven't checked if Trader Joe's has it, but all of my local grocery stores were carrying it, and Total Wine also carried it. So the 2015 Monte Antico, a typical Tuscan wine, which means it's going to be a blend of Sangiovese and usually some other grapes, usually a Cab or a Merlot, maybe even a Syrah, something like that. So this is a gem. I can't wait for you to try it. Let me know what you think. And again, as always, thank you for being such loyal subscribers. Please try this wine. Share it with your friends and family and your coworkers. Let them know about it. Let them know about our channel. I sure appreciate it. And well, until next time, everyone, cheers.